Mm -hmm. <laughs> he knows, he knows. Martin's your aunt. <laughs> Hello, Leute, ich bin Mary und willkommen auf meinem Kanal. I was actually told by my German friend that it's more common to say auf meinen rather than zu meinem, which is what I was saying before. As I mentioned in my episode one reaction of Dark, I love the German language and I love the German culture. Had it not been for COVID-19, I probably would have been in Germany right now in June 2020. Um, but watching this show, watching Dark, really makes me feel like I'm virtually there. And then seeing all of your comments, you're all from Germany or some part of Europe it also makes me feel like I'm virtually somehow in Europe so it's been really lovely and nice to read all of your comments so thank you so much and thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel you probably don't know that in the month of June I'm gonna be making a video every single day so hit that subscribe button push notifications on so you never miss a video on my channel also I want to mention my patreon because on there I'm gonna be posting early access videos so far I'm three episodes ahead so if what Watching my reactions earlier is something that interests you, definitely check it out. I also will be posting deleted scenes from season one as a packaged video on my Patreon. And I also post BTS and deleted scenes from some of my other videos on there already exist, so that's really cool. And also, I wanna give a shout out to Mario Ramirez, who is my top tier patron. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Okay, so let's talk about my speculations based on episode six. In episode six, we saw Ulrich visiting the morgue where the unidentified kid, it was shown that he had a mark similar to what Mads had when he was a kid. I'm pretty sure that confirms that that body, even though it was from 33 years ago, is Mads. How his 1986 body time traveled to 2019 when he was already dead, I'm confused by that because, I mean, if Mads was alive and he time traveled to 2019, that would make more sense to me, but he was dead. So that means somehow someone from 1986 got his body and put it in 2019. That part confuses me a lot, but yeah, let's watch this episode. God, it's Yasin. Yasin's in the same room Eric was in. God, what happened to his ear? That is the last thing he needs. Oh, he seems really sus. This music is making me feel really uneasy. <laughs> has an obsession with Uli. <laughs> Helga was supposed to be questioned on Tuesday, November 11, 1986, exactly 33 years ago from the day after tomorrow, but there's no statement he didn't show. There's just a note. Why not Forest Road? Helga, 75 years old, dement. Dement. What is Helga's part in all of this? He seems like such a vulnerable man, but Obviously, he's far more involved than we know. Is 
Satanismus und Dinge. <lacht> Keine Ahnung. <lacht> he's, he's so... <lacht> he really does not think the best of Ulrich. Ich suche Ines Kahn weiter. I'm looking for Ines Kahn. Ich war vorhin draußen mit dem Jungen. The boy. Was willst du denn von Ines? Oh, maybe he's gonna see his dad. Ines hat gar nicht erzählt, dass sie Besuch hat. Oh, she's rather suspicious of him. He does look rough, to be fair. <laughs> He's so dodgy, isn't he? <laughs> I think you're scaring him. No transcript. Oh my god. Why not? Oh, well, wow. You're, you're just going to kill your key witness? <laughs> oh my god. You can change the past anytime. He sees Mikkel and Innes together. Who is this guy and why does he pop out of nowhere all the time? <laughs> That's comforting. How do people feel about the first time they were told the earth was round? Well, they didn't like it, that's for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> he knows, he knows. Martha's your aunt. <laughs> I'm <t> this guy's kind of dumb, dude. I'm saying, I'm saying that. Father will never meet your mother and they won't ever fall in love and get married. And you won't be born. If you take him back now, you'll be erasing your own. It's not as simple as you think, Jonas Bud. It's a decision to get something else. Oh, I'm glad Katarina's stepping forward. <laughs> what did happen to her face, actually? That doesn't sound convincing. <laughs> he doesn't believe it. It was Anna. He, he really loves to say that. It's important that you know that Ulrich can't hurt you anymore. What is he gonna do? Ah. Oh. oh, this this must be the moment that Hannah meets Mikkel. The moment that older Hannah obviously recalls as the first moment that they met when actually they met earlier when she asked him if he thought she was pretty she obviously doesn't remember what's he gonna do? what's he gonna... what's he gonna do? the moment he shows himself to Mikkel it's over Supposed to be questioned. No, I. Warum fragst du das? Oh, ja. Heute am Waldweg. 
Warum hat Helge die überhaupt behalten nach allem, was ihm da passiert ist? Hat er die überhaupt genutzt? What happened to Helge in the... What happened to Helge in the cabin? Wann warst du das erste Mal in der Hütte? War das schon 86? Ich weiß nicht, warum du das wissen willst. Hat dein Vater 86 in der Hütte gewohnt? Ich weiß nicht. Vielleicht. He's hiding something. He is a hundred percent hiding something. So Helga's accident. Wann war der Unfall? 12. November 1986. So okay. 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 All right. So I'm gonna pause it right now because I'm noticing that anytime Jonas goes through this cave, this portal, the lights seem to just flicker on and off. It causes some kind of electrical disruption. Do not open before November the 4th, 10, 16 p.m. Oh, he's gonna burn the letter? Oh, looks like he made his decision. Poor kid. So he came out the other end and he doesn't have a scar. Oh my God, that's Mads. Oh my God, and he's in a bag. Oh my God. What did Helga, did Helga do that? Is is Ulrich going to come out at the other end as well? Noah? He looks freaking different without his priest uniform. 1953. November 5th, 1953. So he's okay. So I'm pretty sure that guy with the tattoos all over his back was just Noah without his priest costume. Why he was writing 9th of November 1953 on the wall, not really sure. Maybe it means that we're going to travel to the 1950s at one point in this season, which is really exciting. I've so far been loving seeing the 80s and all of the older adults as teenagers. It's been really interesting for me to see. So I think traveling to the 1950s would be super, super cool. I feel like Charlotte's getting close. She's really, really close. Maybe in the next episode, she'll find the door and maybe she'll get to travel through time. And I can't forget the very beginning of the episode where we finally see what has happened to Yasin. And I was concerned about this because we know that Mikkel didn't have the same fate as Eric because Mikkel ended up growing up and he obviously ended up committing suicide so we know that was never going to be his fate but there was nothing about Yasin so I thought okay Yasin has to be the next victim something bad is going to happen to Yasin and I'm afraid that in the next episode we're gonna see that and I don't want to see that because my heart is just gonna explode for poor Elizabeth I'm really 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 curious to see what Helga's part in this entire thing is he doesn't seem innocent but also he doesn't seem like he's the mastermind of the entire thing either he's definitely a pawn in Noah and the mysterious man's game I'm just not sure what their game entirely is and what it has to do with birds what it has to do with sheep what it has to do with burning eyes and eardrums I have no idea at this point as I said I'm not looking into any spoilers please do not spoil the episode in the comment section below but do give this video a like if you want to see more dark reaction videos from me don't forget to subscribe and push the bell notifications on for my channel because I'm gonna be making a video every single day in the month of June so you don't want to 
to miss out. And also I have my Patreon account in the description bar below as well as my social media accounts and all of that great stuff. Thank you again so much for watching. I think I'm going to call it a night because it's quite late here in Australia at the time that I'm filming this. So I'll continue on with episode eight probably tomorrow because I really want to get back into it as soon as possible. But yeah, thank you for joining me on this episode and I will see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye.